It's sort of the sense that we have, it, I think, for all, because we're at a TV festival, right? Mm -hmm. And I think if we can celebrate something in the UK, it's, it's um, I mean, there's so many things, but in, in my line of work, it, what I get is the sense that in, in terms of making documentaries and, and, and a certain style of intimate, first person, unfussy, non grandiose you, documentary making, we really excel at. And that we, there's brilliant documentaries that are made in America, HBO often makes great docs, but sometimes they have a slight sense of kind of fanfare and, and razzmatazz. And I sort of think that we've got these doc, doc makers who, are, who specialize in just being intimate and in a positive way, sort of small and forensic. Mm -hmm. um, I want to ask you about your new indie. Mm. That, uh, why so long? Why did it take so long to have your own company? Well, I think I'm quite a creature of habit. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I like to get the same lunch every day. What is it? Well, it vary, I mean, for a period of months. So, so, for, so at the moment, it's, I, I go to, to Pret-a-Manger. My wife doesn't even know this. This is a secret. And they have a falafel wrap. Has anyone had the falafel wrap at pret manger Can we have a show of hands? I love pret manger It's kind of amazing. And every time you think, like, that's another chicken that didn't die. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Unless they're cooking it in chicken fat. But do you know that I've, I live in America, and I'm back for a few weeks at the moment. I was here for six months last year, and every morning I would get the pret manger egg with beans and mushrooms at the bottom, little <laughs> pot. And they've stopped doing it. And it's really heartbreaking. Anyway, it back to you. should be at a fast food conference. <laughs> Just if anyone's from Pet. So that's what I'm, I have that and an orange juice. Lo lovely. And no crisps. Um, <laughs> is, is anyone backing your company? Unless they have the mixed root. Those aren't really crisps, are they? If it's, you know, the parsnips and turnips, that feels more healthy. Am I getting off track? I, I, could, I could sit here and talk about fruit pots all day. So the reason I didn't start, or, or uh, so my, with my wife Nancy and uh, my collaborator Aaron Fellows, we're starting a company. And uh, I think what happened was I just got, I just, you know, I like making programs. Uh -huh. Anything that's not about making programs, I find quite boring. If I'm honest, like meetings with uh, executives, and no offense to any executives here, uh, but you know, anything that's not about going out and, and telling a story or cutting it or figuring it out, I, I'm, I'm, sli I'm less interested in. So, so I just sort of thought, oh, I'm just going to keep making programs. And then there came a time when I sort of felt a little bit as though, uh, well, what I, I kept hearing that like, we're not the BBC anymore, we're studios. Mm -hmm. We're an indie, or we're like an indie. And then at that point, I thought, oh, well, because people would always say, why don't you start an indie? And then, it, and, and then it sort of turned out, oh, I guess I'm working for an indie. But it still felt like the BBC. And then I, that kind of became my nudge, I think. I thought, well, if I'm now working for basically a big indie, maybe that's the time for me to start my own indie. So where's the money coming from? Well, that's, that's under discussion, isn't it? We're, we're having meetings about that. Nancy, would you like to pop up on stage? <laughs> so that's an ongoing conversation. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you have a name? No. No name. We should announce Any them. ideas, Do anybody? We? You could shout out names. Shout out ideas. Because we haven't had all audience participate. Just say anything. Through the looking glass. Through the, the looking, looking glass. glass. <laughs> oh, they like that. Whoa. Very good. He nailed Very it. Very good. Uh, I quite like looking, I'm trying not to have my name in it, but looking glass, and then it could be understood that Theroux was, print that. Um, well, you're going to have to size something pretty soon, aren't you? Um, and just, are you, what's the plan with the company? Like, who do you want to work with? Have you got your eye on any talent? I, I wasn't really prepped for this part of the conversation. <laughs> I think we're going to make programs that are in the vein of the sorts of things that I do, but not necessarily with me in it. So, in other words, like we'll make my programs, uh, first person documentaries in which I go to the extremes or find stories that have real intimacy and psychological depth, but then um, stories without me that cover similar terrain, like re re really well made mature, funny, quirky, observational documentaries. Yeah. Factual and adverts. Wait, how exciting. <laughs> I mean, I have to mention um, the merchandise. Yeah. The Louis Theroux merchandise, which, I mean, I went into Urban Outfitters a few months ago. There's uh, notebooks with your, you know what? There's a clip. I'm going to show okay. you. Any money from that? No, no. You know that Rihanna sued Topshop for millions for using an image of her face. This, she said that it duped her fans. I feel duped as a fan. I think um, 
I wouldn't pretend it's never ever crossed my mind that I might be able to make money, but I've never uh, taken the step of uh, finding out. I, I, what I tell myself is that uh, it's funny and actually um, it's, it's a big joke and, and, and people get pleasure out of it. And if there is someone out there making millions, then I would be slightly annoyed. But I don't think there is. I think it's just, it's, little, it's nice, appreciative people out there making their sort of fan art and, and selling yeah. it and just covering their costs. Okay. Well, um, we're, we're nearly I done, but I naive? wanted to present you with a gift. I got this one for you. Oh, Louis, right, yeah. Louis with tits. It's so confusing. I don't know who it offends, the ladies or you, but someone's definitely being offended. But um, there you go. Thank your you new so night much. shirt. Um, so, yeah, it should fit. I'm going to put it on. Um, and you all have a gift underneath your seats, if you want to have a little. No. Are you um, serious? It's very exciting. You've all got your own Louis Theroux sticker. You can wear it with pride on your lapel. It's on. Louis with tits is on. This guy does this for a job. He takes male celebrities and puts boobs on them. For his job, that's what he does. I think it's weird to wear yourself. Am I still on my? I mean, yeah, we're all right there. Yeah, to no, wear you know. yourself in it. When, when I was growing up and listening to music, I remember once seeing, I think it was a guy in the Buzzcocks or maybe The Clash, and he had a t shirt with his own band on it. I remember thinking, like, no, that's not good. That's naff, yeah. isn't it? You don't wear your own band on your own t shirt. I don't know. I think, I think this is a look. Um, we're done. Oh, Thank no. you very, very much. There's one thing I'd like to do before we end, and that is get a. Uh, Oscar-style selfie with everyone holding up their stickers. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to see it. They have to lower the lights, don't they? Do they? Well, otherwise we're not going to see anyone. Here okay. we go. Okay. Here we Good. go. Hold up your stickers if you can. Is that right? Good. to take a few. There we go. Yeah. We got it. Got it. Thank, Thank you, you so to our much. sponsors, the BBC. Thank, Thank, Thank you, you very Louis. much. I really Thank appreciate you it. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you. Thank you.